Hi, in this series of sessions, we're looking at scripting basics in SAP Analytics Designer. In today's session, we're going to focus on on select event and on results changed events. On select event is triggered when a selection is made on a visualization by selecting a value for a dimension and that results in executing the on, se on select script. So inside the on select event script, we can apply a filter on a different visualization as a result of selecting something in that particular visualization could affect the other visualizations. The second one is on results changed event. And this event is triggered when a result set is changed in a particular visualization. And the code gets executed and that code can be written to apply the filter on a different visualization as the result changed in one of the visualizations. To explain these two events in, uh, in this particular analytical application, I'm going to use two examples. The first example is for on, on select event. What I'm going to do, uh, I have a, a table visualization and a chart visualization. They're not very fancy ones, just with a simple data selection um, on sales data. And same, same sales data is used for vis chart visualization as well. So I'm going to select a country value in the runtime, and that could result in applying the filter on a chart visualization as well. Let's take a look at on how I'm going to achieve this scenario in the system. I have the canvas page with the table and chart visualization. So you can see the table one and chart one are the, uh, the elements here. I'm going to select the on select event for table one. That is going to be for this widget. Click on on select event, it's empty. So I'm going to write a code here to select, to take the selection value uh, from the table visualization and pass that uh, value to chart visualization, passing in terms of filtering the data on the chart one data. So I'm going to start with declaring a variable. Um, I'm going to give the name as selections and assign the selection of uh, uh, data source from chart one, sorry, uh, table one. My table one, and I'm going to use the API called get selections code completion and get selection. And I'm not going to define any specific dimension here. I'm going to leave that with um, uh, empty selection. And I will define the di dimension that I'm going to apply the uh, selection uh, in the next uh, line. Okay, uh, I'm going to use this selection variable to pass the filter value to chart visualization. For that, the affected visualization here is going to be chart one. So I'm going to take the chart one and get data source. Um, if I don't know exact spelling, I can use the code completion and get the API. And I'm going to apply the set dimension filter, the first one. And this API, I need to pass the parameters to the dimension called country. That's my dimension. And the value that needs to be passed here is to be taken from selections that is declared in the bow line. Selections, and then I'm going to give the dimension name here as country. And code completed. So I'm taking the selection um, from the table one visualization uh, into a variable, and that variable value is passed to the chart one uh, dimension filter of on country. Okay, I'm going to save this and run my analytical application. Okay, run. My application is being executed. I'm in runtime now. So I'm going to select a country uh, from the list on the table. Select Canada. That will result in applying the filter in the chart visualization. You can notice that uh, there's no filter applied on the table visualization because in my script, I haven't applied um, the, the filter on table one as the result of selection. If I wanted to do, I can still do that by taking the uh, above line and copy it over to the below. And this time I'm going to use it for table one as well and save it. 
Now my both visualizations should get the dimension filter applied uh, based on the selection variable that is previously taken from the declaration. So I'm going to run this application again. This time I'm going to pick another time. And you can see both visualizations got filtered for the country. I'm going to remove this uh, country selection. Still, you can see that this uh, chart visualization is not uh, changed because um, removing a selection is not considered as a selection uh, activity. If I go and click on another country, that is going to take uh, a, 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 that is going to be considered as an action to apply the filter on both visualizations. Okay. I'm switching back to my canvas page. So that's about the um, on select event. So I'm going to comment this one and move to the another uh, topic that is um, on results changed event. So for this uh, example, I'm going to apply a filter on my table visualization directly as I did just now in the runtime. And then as the result of that um, change, another vis visualization should get affected. So my chart visualization should get affected uh, when I apply a filter on my table uh, widget. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the table one and invoke on results changed event. Here I'm going to apply a new API. So this time the affected uh, visualization is going to be table one. So I'm going to use the table one code completion, get data source. And uh, this time I'm going to apply set dimension filter. Okay, I'm um, sorry, this, the affected uh, visualization here is going to be chart one again, because uh, on, I'm, up, I'm writing this script for on results changed for table one. So any change that occurred in table one data set is going to affect chart one data source. Um, so here, uh, instead of setting the dimension filter, what I'm going to do, I will uh, copy the dimension filter from uh, table one to chart one. So I'm going to remove this uh, set dimension filter and then take uh, table one, sorry, um, copy dimension filter from and then pass the parameters from table one, uh, a table one data source. So I'm going to use table underscore one and get uh, data source. And this time my dimension is going to be country. Okay, so that's it. So what this code uh, does uh, taking the value from table one uh, data source for country and then pass the, or copy that dimension filter to chart one. So uh, it is going to affect the, uh, exactly the same dimension uh, of chart one that is going to be con country dimension. So I'm going to save it and then run this. Run uh, analytical application. So here you uh, now I'm going to apply filter on one of the country here. Um, and that should result in affecting a filter on this uh, result set because I'm copying the filter from table one to chart one. So let's do that, um, selecting country and apply filter. So you can see the filter is copied over to chart one. So whenever there is a result changed in table one and that result changed will get triggered Trigger, trigger the um, on the on results changed event, and whatever the code that is inside that on results changed event will get executed. Uh, this in this case, it is going to apply the filter on uh, or copy the filter from table one to the chart one. Okay, I can remove the filter. Still, it's going to be an action to be considered. Result set is changed, and according to that result set, country dimension filter or country dimension value are pass to chart one visualization. So that's how we can explain on results changed event.
I think with that uh, two examples, you get some basic understanding on on select and on results changed events in SAC uh, application designer. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.